We're doing a thermostat on a 2005 5.7 liter Hemi. I'll put a link in the description below of all the vehicles that this covers, but the thermostat is right there. And the reason we're doing it is because we're getting a P0128. Either the thermostat is not opening all the way or there is a bad uh, coolant temperature sensor. But it's really easy to get. Half inch right here. Mm. Ah. <clears throat> So the other bolt is right there, touching it right there. Oh man. So any coolant you lose, you're gonna have to replace once you put the new thermostat in. So both bolts are the same length, so don't worry about uh, which one goes where. Sometimes I put different lengths in here. Get that out of the way. So there's the old one right there. Let's pop that little thing out. Put the other one in. Oh, it opens up at 203? Yeah, so this is the correct one. And it also has stamped there, 203, if you can see it there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the other one I don't think did. Let's look at the other one. You got this on Amazon? Yes. I'll put a link in the description below where you got this from. We got number 52028898. But you see, this one's a little older. I don't think it may have been changed or possibly has been changed. 5202 5202-8898. 5202-8898. Mm -hmm. Exact same part number. Ah, but there it is. There's a the difference, John. You see in here, if you see the rubber piece in oh, there. Oh, yeah. The rubber's all gone. The rubber's all gone on that one. So this whole lining right here, where my finger is right now, this whole rubber piece is missing. P0128 is basically your thermostat is uh, opening too soon. So you have a pin right here, right? <clears throat> it's that pin that goes at your 12 o'clock position. Oh, really? Is that yeah, it helps air, helps air escape. Oh, okay. I never knew that. Make sure that's seated all the way down correctly. Just kind of feel around the edges and make sure that it's all even. Checking the thermostat housing to make sure there's no like old gasket material on there. If there is, clean it off before you put the new one on. So just start start the top one by hand. I'm gonna come in here, start this bottom one by hand. Don't don't tighten the top one because you need to be able to move the thermostat housing around a little bit to get the bolts to line up, line up correctly. Okay, they're both started by hand. So make sure you have a catch catch pan at the bottom to catch any coolant and then once you secure these up um, go ahead top off your coolant system and uh, go ahead when you need to any of the coolant that's run down when you open this up you can just uh, get some water and pour it over where you spilled the coolant and that'll take care of any uh, coolant stuck on your engine go to the top run the top one down Snug the bottom one up, snug the top one up, and then go back and forth until it's completely uh, until it's completely tight. You just don't want to have it going at a at an odd angle or cockeyed or any way. We need to do the job. Okay, that's good. That one's good too. If this little clamp is in your way, you can just go ahead and grab it with a pair of pliers and move it in either direction to get out of your way if if it's uh, getting in your way at all. Double check this. Good. Good. Oh. 
We're gonna go ahead and top off the coolant a little bit. Yeah, this thermostat was shot. That rubber piece is gone. Good thing we changed it out. It's probably the original. It probably is. My partner, John Travolta. My other partner, Ray. My other partner. <laughs>